Amy Medford with Medford Knife and Tool. We have a shipment on the table today for DLT Trading. Uh, Paul and Jason, hello. Thank you for always being there for us. They are, I've never heard anything bad from DLT Trading or from customers dealing with DLT. So we're very grateful to have partnerships with so many wonderful people out there. DLT, they're in Marinette, Wisconsin. I'm sure if you uh, know anything about knives or knife resellers, you should know DLT Trading. Again, they're on our website, so if you have any questions about phone numbers, emails, or access to get to see knives at their location, check it out there. Otherwise, let's, uh, let's not waste any time. Let's get down and dirty. All right, we have pretty straightforward. You know, some of this is just a refill order and some are customs. This, the Panzers are a refill. Um, I have S35 Tonto tumbled. This is kind of a um, eye of the storm is what I would call that. It's got circular motion on it. You can see right down, um, just really cool and subtle, tactical. No facing on it, bronze anodized spring, so pretty straightforward. PVD in blue on the second one, both handle and spring. PVD bronze. And then the last one is uh, not quite a full reverse tuxedo. This would be PVD if that were the case, but PVD hardware and clip with everything else Terminator. Then we have our Praetorian Slim Flippers. Again, this is a refiller and we have our, so you're gonna get to see a comparison between our previous generation pivots and our new pivots. And the reason is uh, we don't strip the pivots anymore and we don't mar them up. It's a very clean assembly process and it just makes for the assembly to be uh, you know, we're just trying to make things a little bit more streamlined. So total standard Terminator, Tonto flipper, tumbled bronze flipper. Here's the uh, previous, and I'm sure we're going to have people say, no, I like this, but I think this is going to go over really well. Um, Tonto flipper blue, Tonto flamed flipper, and another Tonto flamed with the uh, previous generation pivots. All right, also part of the refill order, 187 drop points, all G10. Um, you know, I love the G10 version. It's just super tactical. You can get this knife dirty. You can work it to the core like you could all of ours, but this is definitely meant to be worked. One of the best everyday carries that we have for the money, for the overall size, and for the workability. 187 drop point, G10, one of each color. And then we get into kind of the high-end customs here. These are all the full thick Marauders, so 0.2 series. 0.260 inch thick on the blades. The grooves are a dead giveaway that it's a Marauder because these are, it's different on the Marauder H. And this is just bronze, bronze handle and spring with the new tumbling process. Of course, it looks super shiny. Peaks and valleys, all silver with flamed hardware and clip. Aquamarine, kind of a smaller peaks and valleys. So this is a real tight peaks and valleys, aquamarine finish face and flame. They did a really nice job on the face and flaming to blend in with the uh, aquamarine color on the handles. Here's blue handle and spring. Really beautiful contrast to the NP3 breaker and the silver blade. Lazy, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, Lazy River. God, that is so cool. I, it's kind of psychedelic. I love the Lazy River. I remember doing one on a Fat Daddy a long time ago that just came out looking like it was straight out of the 70s with a disco ball above it. Super cool. This one here, um, kind of chain mail or cobblestone. I love the fade on this. You know our guys that work doing sculpting and custom anodizing, they're so hard on themselves when they come out with something that maybe is not is unique or a little bit different and they busted uh, themselves up about this. I thought it looks amazing. It's not a perfect match on both sides and for that I think it's unique. It's got a cool color fade to it on both sides and just a really lovely feel in the hands. Here's a face to blue falling leaf. So that's a partial sculpt. That's what we call a falling leaf. Brushed clip so a little bit more subtle on that. And then the last one on the table, gator belly. This looks fantastic on the Marauders. It looks great on the Fat Daddies and um, just a really cool, it's not very often you see a gator belly, so it's nice to see it, again with a brushed clip. So all these reorder, refill, and the custom knives are headed out to DLT Trading in Marinette, Wisconsin. Reach out to them, see what you can get your hands on. Keep watching the videos, and until the next time, I'm out.